I'm uh, Stéphane Gauthier. I'm a research scientist with Fisheries and Oceans Canada, and I use acoustics as one of my main research tools. I'm here on the RV Falcor as part of the mission on the Barclay Sound, and we see here the EK60, which is one of the main echo sounder that we use on this on this vessel. Uh, the EK60 has transducer, which are mounted on the gondola just on, under the vessel, and it sends pulses of sound in the water that are reflected by anything it encounters from small critters to the ocean floor. So that gives us really good information about what's in the water column and it records continuously so we have nice tracks of organism distribution wherever this vessel goes. So we're trying to tie in this information about where organisms are distributed and where are the densest spot to the oceanographic condition that we're measuring as part of this, this cruise. And we're taking lots of measurement. We're taking water sample to measure oxygen levels, dissolved oxygen level, nutrients, carbon, and we're taking measurement on temperature and salinity and also to a moving vessel profiler. So we're getting very dense information about the whole area and we're going to try to tie this into what are the organisms doing and where are they distributed. You know, a big part of this mission is to understand the pathways, where the, you know, the current, where the water mass and what's driving them, where they're coming from, and what, what, where the water's moving. And that's important because understanding where, where the pathways are you know, will ultimately dictate what's happening in terms of productivity in the system. And when I mean productivity, it can be anything from small organism to big organism. But we know that La Perouse Bank, this whole area, is a very productive area. It has a lot of euphosids, small critters like krill that attracts, you know, anything from whales to commercial fish such as Pacific hake and herring. So understanding the mechanism that drives productivity is important, but to do this, you got to tie in how the oceanographic condition and the currents and the pathways affect the water mass which are linked to where organisms distribute.